Welcome to the world of What a Way to Go, a 1964 cinematic gem that effortlessly blends comedy, romance, and a touch of satire. This classic film takes us on a journey through the extravagant life of Louisa May Foster, played by the incomparable Shirley MacLaine. As we explore her series of marriages, each ending in a bizarre twist of fate, the movie prompts us to ponder life's unexpected turns. Have you ever wondered about the untold stories behind the scenes? Lesser known facts about the making of this movie add an intriguing layer to its narrative. Did you know that director J. Lee Thompson initially envisioned Marilyn Monroe for the lead role? The dynamics of the film might have taken a different turn had that casting choice materialized. Now, imagine yourself reflecting on this timeless piece of cinema. Is there a particular scene or moment that has left an indelible mark on your memory? Share your thoughts with us, or perhaps you've stumbled upon some captivating anecdotes about the cast and crew that have piqued your interest. As we delve into the universe of what a way to go, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Whether it's a laughter-filled movie night or a surprising connection you discovered, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Embrace the nostalgia, share your insights, and let the conversations flow. What a way to connect over the magic of cinema. What a way to go is a 1964 American comedy film that weaves a humorous and satirical tale of wealth, love, and destiny. Directed by Jay. Lee Thompson, the film stars the iconic Shirley MacLaine as Louisa May Foster, a widow whose various marriages lead to unintended and absurd consequences. The story unfolds as Louisa recounts her life to a psychiatrist, revealing a series of husbands, each wealthier than the last, meeting bizarre and untimely demises. As the narrative unfolds, the film adopts a whimsical visual style, marked by vibrant technicolor cinematography and lavish production design that mirrors the opulence of each era. McLean's charismatic performance, coupled with the film's unique blend of satire and romantic comedy, has made What a Way to Go, a classic in the annals of Hollywood's golden age. The film's influence on subsequent comedies is evident, as it carved a niche for itself with its blend of humor, romance, and social commentary, leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. It remains a testament to the era's cinematic creativity and Shirley MacLaine's enduring charm making it a timeless cinematic gem that continues to captivate audiences. Shirley MacLaine's stellar performance in the 1964 film What a Way to Go catapulted it to become one of her biggest box office hits. Ranked as the seventh most successful film of the year, it not only secured MacLaine's position as the seventh top money-making star, but also elevated co-star Paul Newman to the ninth spot. The movie's financial success marked a significant milestone in both their careers, Amidst the cinematic extravagance, one noteworthy aspect was the uncredited appearance of Tom Conway and Queenie Leonard as Lord and Lady Kensington. This on-screen couple, who encountered Louisa and Rod Anderson at a lavish cocktail party, mirrored reality, as they were married during filming but would divorce shortly after. Interestingly, this film marked Conway's final screen credit, and Leonard would retire from acting four years later. Adding to the film's allure is Shirley MacLaine's collaboration with costume designer Edith Head. With a $500,000 budget, Head created 72 distinct hairstyles to complement the exquisite gowns and a stunning $35 million gem collection on loan from Harry Winston. MacLaine, expressing her satisfaction, valued the gems at $23.5 million in 2016 when adjusted for inflation. What a way to go! Not only delivered a blend of humor, romance, and social commentary, but also left an indelible mark on Hollywood's golden age. Its financial triumph and memorable characters, including the fleeting on-screen union of Conway and Leonard, make this film a timeless cinematic gem. And what a way to go! Shirley MacLaine delivers a memorable line early in the film, stating, It's like exercising an evil spirit, linking money to a supernatural metaphor. This connection takes an interesting turn considering McLean's later involvement in the supernatural film, the possession of Joel Delaney, and her initial consideration for the role of Chris in The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. McLean's diverse roles and the intriguing thematic connections within the film add depth to her performance. Additionally, the movie marks the feature debut of Pamela Ferdin, introducing a new talent to the industry. As the narrative unfolds, the audience witnesses the final appearance of Tom Conway, albeit uncredited. Conway, known for succeeding his brother George Sanders in the iconic role of the Falcon in Arkhaus' popular 1940s franchise, concludes his cinematic journey with What a Way to Go. 
His nine-film portrayal of the suave sleuth adds a historical layer to the film, connecting it to Hollywood's golden age. These elements, along with McLean's captivating performance, Payne Linferden's debut, and Tom Conway's farewell, contribute to the multifaceted nature of What a Way to Go, creating a cinematic tapestry that goes beyond its surface narrative. The film's exploration of wealth, love, and destiny is complemented by these intriguing connections, making it a noteworthy piece in the landscape of 1960s cinema. Steve McQueen, a name synonymous with Hollywood cool, was initially in the cards to portray one of the husbands in the 1964 film What a Way to Go. This casting consideration added an extra layer of charisma to the movie's potential ensemble. Imagining McQueen's iconic presence alongside Shirley MacLaine's wit and charm could have been a cinematic delight. However, as fate would have it, the final cast took a different turn. Interestingly, the film's casting carousel didn't stop with McQueen. Before Shirley MacLaine clinched the role, Elizabeth Taylor briefly flirted with the idea after the untimely passing of Marilyn Monroe. The behind-the-scenes dance of casting choices sheds light on the dynamic nature of the industry during that era. Each name in contention could have steered the film in a distinct direction. Moreover, it's worth noting that Fred McMurray was initially set to play a sixth husband, a role that was eventually cut from the script before the cameras rolled. The ever-shifting landscape of casting decisions in pre-production hints at the intricate process of shaping the narrative. In the end, the chosen cast, led by Shirley MacLaine, crafted a unique blend of humor, romance, and social commentary that became a hallmark of Hollywood's golden age. The what-ifs in casting may remain speculative, but the film's eventual lineup, marked by MacLaine's stellar performance, left an indelible mark on cinematic history. As we journeyed through the enchanting tale of life's whimsical twists and what a way to go, we hope it stirred the delightful chaos within your thoughts. This cinematic masterpiece of 1964 weaves a tapestry of laughter, love, and unexpected turns, inviting you to reflect on the serendipity of existence. As you bask in the afterglow of this timeless gem, consider the peculiar dance of fate mirrored in your own life. Are you too entangled in the captivating waltz of destiny, or perhaps orchestrating your own symphony of choices? Share with us your musings, your echoes resonating with the essence of this cinematic journey. What are your reflections on the comedy of errors that mirrors the human experience? In the grand theater of existence, memories are the silent spectators. Do yours align with the colorful hues of this cinematic canvas? Unveil the chapters of your life that harmonize with the quirky charm of what a way to go a tapestry woven with threads of laughter, love, and the unpredictable. Your stories are the sequel to the legacy of this classic, and as we bid adieu to the world painted by What A Way To Go, we extend our gratitude for allowing its narrative to intertwine with your own. Thank you for sharing this celluloid reverie with us. Until our paths cross again in the realms of shared stories, dreams, and laughter.